Hey, what's up all my freaks and geeks out there in YouTube land? MGO here, and today we will be reviewing Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. So let's head to the table and check them out. So here we are, and there he is. So here is the second War for Cybertron figure that we have seen in person so far. Optimus Prime, he is a Cybertronian armored truck. And not to spend too much time on this, but here's the packaging. There's the front. There's Optimus. There's the back. There's Optimus. That's it. That's all the time we're going to spend on the packaging. So, back to the truck here. This precise comparison here we got animated Voyager Prime. As you can see, uh, actually almost pretty much the same length. Animated Prime is just taller, but pretty much the same length. So, there you have that. Now, his gun, which, um, this, this part is basically for up to personal preference. Um, first thing I want to show off is the gun does have a little automorph here, if you want to call it that little spring loaded gimmick. You just flick this little uh, tab right here, and boom, it goes from pea shooter to doom rifle, which is pretty cool. Nicely detailed, too. So. And I know a lot of people have it stored. They either have it like this, or they have it folded up, and they have it like this. You know, but the official storage mode, as per the instructions, so I don't want to hear any lip, the instructions said this, is to use this tab right here, plug it into the port, and have it pointing backwards. This is the way the instructions say to store the gun. So enough of that and this thing will go off you know just flick anything if anything even taps it it's going to go off but um yeah we'll just put the gun aside and you see it, it, it flipped open when I was just trying to put it down easy easy okay all right so there it is very nicely detailed oh, it's, actually it's not too much detailed especially on the sides the sides are kind of lacking in detail but it's still very nice. Got the, you know, smokestacks, if you want to call them that. Very nice. So, transformation, what you want to do is, you just want to take this panel right here, take it, flip it up. Like so. You want to take this little panel right here with the faux grill. Lift it up. Bring that up, like so. You want to take these panels in the sides here. And tab them, flip them up. Like I so. Now you want to come here. Untab these. Okay. Yes, Prime does suffer from, uh, he suffers from VHS. Visible head syndrome. That's unfortunate. Anyway. You want to come down here and untab. I guess the first thing you want to do is just kind of take it and pull it apart. And it'll untab here. It's got these little hook latches here. So after you get that untabbed, you can untab this part right here. You have to kind of bring these smokestacks up a little bit. They can pull these out. The transformation for this guy is actually quite intricate. Then you want to spread the legs. Uh, then you want to bring them down. If I can. Come on. Come on. There we go. Like so, and when you get them here, you basically want to take the legs and pull them forward. Like so. And they'll click into place. Like that. Boom. And they'll click into place. And you can straighten them out. You want to take these. What were the tail lights? Take them. Fold them down. Fold down his feet. You want to take these wheels here, take them, and fold them back. The wheels, pull them back. Now you can bring this panel up. What you want to do now is you want to rotate these smokestacks 180. And there is a little tab 
right here and they will tab into a slot in the inside of the smokestacks and you'll have it like so. So again, 180, tab in the smokestacks. So there you have that. Now back to the front here, you want to take these panels, untab them like so and bring them back. This is where you get some clearance issues but it's okay. They basically just kind of want to straighten everything out. Bring the arms down like so. Take these wheels, bring them back. Like so. And now you can take the arms and they shift up. Like that. And now you just want to take this whole front assembly here and rotate it 180. Like that. You want to take this whole panel here, you want to swivel it back. You don't want to swivel the entire assembly, just this. Take that, bring it back. Like so. Now you can basically take this and accordion it up like that. Take this panel, bring it down, and it will tab in to the waist. And then you take these little side panels here, flip them back. And you can bring the arms down. Take these panels, bring them flush to the shoulders. Take these panels, bring them up so they're flush with the back of the shoulders. Pick the head up, it'll tab into place. Take this panel, just bring it up so it's flush against his back. Now you want to come in here. Just got to come in here, pull his fists out. Come in here, pull his fists out. And there you have him. War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. Very good figure. Very, very solid figure. Very, very awesome. Again, just like with Bumblebee, I love the head sculpt. The head sculpt is just simply, simply awesome. Love it. Now with the gun, again, you can have him hold it like so. Or there are ports on his forearms. So you could peg him into his forearms if you want him to have him like that. Or if you want to have like a pea shooter mode. You know, you could put it in there like that. Or, I don't know, will it fit like that? It actually will. Have it like that if you want, even. Now, storage mode for the gun in robot mode. I don't know if anybody showed this off, but basically what you want to do is you have it folded up. There's actually a tab right here. And there's a slot right there. So you want to take it, slot it in right there. And there's your storage in robot mode. Just in case nobody's shown it off yet. I'm showing you now. So. Very, very awesome, awesome figure. And for comparison, here we have them next to War for Cybertron B. Right there. And Classics Optimus. But all in all, amazing amazing figure I would highly recommend this it is a great figure it is a solid figure it looks awesome it seems like it's very close to the to, to the game model and again I can't wait to play this game cannot wait and um, yeah all the nice little details in here got the little I guess kind of pink bits if you want to call them that which I guess is supposed to be like, you know, Energon glowing. Very, very freaking cool. I highly recommend this figure. If you can get your hands on him, and Bumblebee, get your hands on him. Because he is worth it. He's worth every cent that you will pay for him. So, there is Transformers Generations War for Cybertron Optimus Prime. And this is Emgo, rolling out.